say beautiful. I don't think that this is capturing the beauty that I'm standing in. Creating my own time. Take it slow. Travel coast to coast. Wear fashionable clothes. My way. The end. It's my life. My way. The end. Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Sarah here and welcome back to the Chateau for another video. Before we get into this particular video, y'all already know, if you are a existing subscriber, I have to thank you first. I'm super duper appreciative of you and all of the support that you've given. Your likes, your shares, your comments, just your subscription. And if you are not a subscriber yet, go on and join the tribe we have plenty of amazing content on the way for you as you guys saw from the title this is a video about my trip to new mexico and i actually was sitting here just editing the video i have my laptop right here on my my lab i was editing the video and one thing i absolutely love about doing youtube and sharing my life experiences with you guys is it gives me an opportunity to relive it all over again and of course it's amazing when you can and relive the good parts the bad parts not so much anyway <laughs> I was looking back at my trip I know New Mexico is not your average place that a person would go to and I told you guys this before because most people are looking for a beach loads and loads of water like a beach loads and loads of sand you'll find that there but you won't find the water to go along with it I know people are generally looking for that but if you are looking for a place to go and enjoy some gorgeous weather some gorgeous mountain views some delicious delicious authentic Mexican food and some beautifully kind amazing people New Mexico is the place for you and I can show you better than I can tell you you live in the DMV like me it'll take you about 11 and a half hours to get there and that's not too too bad especially when you have a pretty good flight and I have to say mine was pretty good Oh, we could be honest, close to me, oh, giving me some honest, honest, 
trap Hit it with the rap, put it on the map Move me right back Call me when you wanna get back up Hit me and turn up with the rest I be pee on my back, go cheese on my dash Girl, I'm bad I'm bad You wanna get where you can get no higher Than this No, no Cause love don't get no higher As you guys saw, I had a layover in Houston. I really, really wish that it was a little bit longer because I've never been to Houston before. So I definitely would have left that airport and went to go and enjoy some things. in El Paso, Texas because there are no direct flights to El Paso, Texas from the DMV. As a matter of fact, there are no direct flights into New Mexico at all. The closest airport is El Paso, Texas. And then from there, I had to hop in a rental car and drive on over to my hotel. And that took about an hour, but it was beautiful scenic views. Definitely can't complain. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Now, once I got to my hotel, let me just go ahead and show y'all. Nico de Gallo. Trust a woman in the center street, but she not any woman, more like a safer friend to me. Uh -huh. Plus, when I'm out of town, I always think of her. Oh, my God, we play with some chicks, but no one come up up. Oh, I thought I was your man, yes, she don't even understand. And now I'm sitting here looking crazy, like, damn. okay it wasn't the most luxe hotel in the world that's generally what I seek out but it's all good it's not like it's a huge touristy area and I'm gonna find the Bellagio like I would in Las Vegas so it was all good I definitely took a moment to go and take a trip to Target so that I can get some things to ensure my comfort in the room well the reality of the situation is 
I'm gonna find a target no matter where in the world I am. Let's go pick up a few things. So I just forgot my, I'm not here to do like real shopping. I forgot my, my shower shoes. So I'm just trying to find something that I can wear in that shower. Um, so yeah. So far I'm not having any luck, but I'm just gonna keep on looking until I find something, a flip flop or something. Trust a woman in this industry, but she not any woman, more like a safer friend to me. Uh -huh. Plus, when I'm out of town, I always think of her. Like, I'm gonna play with some chicks, but no one come up up. Uh -huh. I thought of was your man, guess she don't even understand. And now I'm sitting her looking crazy, like, damn. Uh -huh. definitely clean because whoever runs that hotel definitely ensures it's clean from top to bottom when you wake up in the morning you definitely can smell that the staff is cleaning the space but there were certain things that I'm used to in a hotel room that I had to go and run to Target and pick up so that you know I could be comfortable while I was in the hotel too, I was super happy to see that they had a gym. Even though it was a fairly small gym, it at the very least gave me the opportunity to continue doing my three mile walks a day just so that all of the good food didn't go back with me to the DMV. delicious Mexican food. Cause 
As you guys saw, I definitely tried some new things. Anytime I mention New Mexico to anyone that I know personally that actually had visited before, they always bought up the green chilies. And I'm telling you right now, I am craving them right now as I'm watching this vlog back and editing it. It literally, it was the best thing I had, especially those cork bats. If I can get one of my co-workers to ship some out to me, that probably would be amazing. I may have to hit them up for that because I'm going to be craving them. They were so delicious. And then there was Heidi Ho. I'm super appreciative of my co-worker recommending that we try it because I had the opportunity to try something that I never would have tried. You guys, you know what? I'm not even going to sit here and talk to you about it. Again, I can show you better than I can tell you. According to you live from Heidi Ho Burger. <laughs> This makes it worth it. Let's see how good the food is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Your nail, Lisa. You're a part of the channel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh oh. Sour. Oh Lord. <laughs> but is it enjoyable? Is it refreshing at yes. least a little? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Very good salt. Very good. Okay. Yeah, let me try it. I'm going to try it. Okay. At Lisa's recommendation, I'm going to try a little bit without the salt first. Okay. If I don't drop it all. But I love lemon lemon now, water. Now, now I love more. This ice is so good. But this is a thing in Alamogordo. 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 Lemon ice and salt. And I'm just gonna try a little itty bitty. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt on there. It is way better. It's that game changer. That's about it, Julie. It's the ice. Yes. The ice, the um, consistency of the ice. I would never have mixed this little combo together. This is, it's a thing. Mm -mm, you can't see the 
green chili. And this is like fresh beef too. Like fries, basic. Yeah. Woo. Hot. They're good though. I know, right, right, I know. Let me tell you, I enjoy editing it. I love watching it back like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy or whatever. Like, that's what I spent my time doing uh, on the flight out. I, just, I edited the whole flight for today because I post on Tuesdays. That's interesting. So if you post on a Tuesday, then people know, oh, I can log in so we're new stuff on a Tuesday. It's a certain day. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. This is good. I think I'm in love with green chili. And then you guys always know I have to make these nostalgic food choices. Can you believe they had a Ruby Tuesdays in New Mexico? I don't think we have any Ruby Tuesdays left in the DMV, but that was definitely one that at, in my 20s, I went to all the time with my friends. Loved me some Ruby Tuesdays, especially that salad bar. And oof, it still was good. I mean, this Ruby Tuesdays was the definition of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. places that one wouldn't expect guys you won't believe that I actually before going to New Mexico never had a pistachio before and to be honest it's not because I didn't have access to them because I definitely bought them like if my son he used to ask for them when he was younger I bought them for him but never ever tried them I didn't have the desire to try them they just didn't look appealing but somehow in New Mexico I found myself at a place called Pistachio Land and I had a funky good time. ready to try it I am ready to I'm try recording it. the dill pickle is that what it is the dill pickle, uh, dill pickle mm -hmm. you've been wanting to try it all day amazing is it it's amazing <laughs> I'm gonna try it <laughs> okay the dill pickle one I I'm love. gonna try the dill pickle one because Lisa said it's good I don't know Okay. It's good. <laughs> it's actually good. Did you try it? I'm not recording. <laughs> That's actually good. I'm gonna try the pistachio brittle. And before I came to this place, I've never had a pistachio before. I never had the desire to eat one. So this is the the brittle. Just a little piece. So good. So good. Definitely taking a bag of that home. There is a pistachio delight. I have to try it. Yeah, I 
get excited when people ask me for my driver's license because I'm way beyond <laughs> 21. Yeah, we still talk to them to this day. My, my wife, they're, so I met them online, played mm -hmm. games together. Well, oh, cool. then my wife ended up, I ended up introducing them to my wife and now they're best friends. They're all they friends. All oh, that's oh, yeah. amazing. They talk every day, so. That is amazing. They're actually thinking about moving out here. <laughs> out so, here? here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I'm all the way over there. So yes, like, hey, you know? yes. I can oh. find you a job. You know? Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, is there different types of pistachio wine? So, we only have one, unfortunately. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with just lot, the one. But hey, so yeah. this is going to be our wine list right here. Okay. We have three dry, seven sweet stuff. Obviously, we like our sweet stuff. That's why we have a majority of sweets. Mm -hmm. But if you want a visual representation of what those are, these are going to be the bottles right I here. I just reported yes. those. Yeah, okay. But I want to try pistachio. Uh, I mean, that's the only... Right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get that out for you. Okay, thank you. So, can I report you for it? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to force anyone. I'm not on the, oh, if you're okay with that, that sounds good to me. So, this is gonna Hi, be people. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, this is going to be very fruit forward. Mm -hmm. Give me about five to six seconds and you actually start to taste obsession if these oils come into play. Really? Okay. Yes. Well, there we go. Go ahead and give that a Thank try. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, let's turn that around. Let's see. Smells delicious. I don't smell yeah, right. pistachio though. So it's so it's infused oil. So yeah. you never oh, okay. smell it, but it will definitely be in the taste. So it'll be more on the back end though. So keep that in mind. Okay, so first of all, that's good. <laughs> right. That wine is good. Well, we appreciate that. It means a lot to us. But we can only give all of our thanks and all of our hands a round of applause to Shannon Drake, who's the winemaker. Ah. Yes. She's the one that created all these wines. She's actually younger than me. She went to school for biology, and then she decided, well, I want to study wine. So now she makes all of her own wines for us. Wow. Yes. She's a good friend of mine. I've known her for years. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, good, because I'm going to work from that. Yeah, and unfortunately, the picture's not the best, but yeah, the description okay. of everything, you know. When people the come to the area. Right. They'll not think I want a glass of that. I'm not driving, so <laughs> I'm riding with right. my coworker. Yeah, hey, but I go. wonder if they want to. Well, if the other lady over there wants to try it, because she talked about wine. But how much is it per glass? So there, so there's free wine tasting. Oh, okay. Yes, so there's no charge of the wine tasting. Okay. Free samples. You do get four today, okay. so you have three more oh, selections. Try something else. That yeah, was that was absolutely. freaking delicious. I didn't taste the pistachio on the back end, but I think no? it's because I just okay. ate the brittle. Yeah, so that's the one thing. If you've mixed other yeah. tastes and oils and everything into the mouth, these yeah. aren't really justified that well. Okay. So keep that in mind. But it's good though. Right? <laughs> it's really good. Right? Well, I'm okay, glad so we we're off to a good start. So is there a, So you have a red. I'll yep. take the Alamogordo. Is it, how, how do you say it? Alamogordo? Alamogordo. Yes. yes. Um, red. I'll try that for So sure. I will say, if we are going to bounce around between sweet and dry, mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with mm -hmm. you. Not recommended, only because okay. if we go from a dry back to a sweet, the sweets aren't going to be justified even more. Ah, okay. So, okay. so, so should I try we, the red last? Yeah. So if you want to try a dry, dry, I would say we're going to work your way up to that. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. So what should I do before well, the... It, so I'm a, I'm a really, I mean... With you having four options, you chose the pistachio to light. Mm -hmm. Really, it's up to you, okay. but if it were up to me, the way to work you up to that, I would work you through the sweet dries, then up to the dries, if that's what the goal was. Yeah. If the goal was just to try the sweet stuff, obviously we can just we can try the sweet stuff we My want. My preference is dry. So you do yeah. like dry stuff? Yes. Okay, so yes. with that being said, if we want to just skip to the dries, we can. Sounds good to me. All right, that's, that works out. I'm gonna go grab my coworker just in case she wants to start too. Is that okay while you pour that? Uh, we have to try. Well, we have our wine list right here. As a matter of fact, I can put it right in the middle for you so you can all kind of look at everything. We've already uh, established the route that she's going to take. Yes. For you, we're going to start from the beginning. So with that being said, do we like sweet or dry stuff? Also, I'll have to see an ID before we get started. You know what? I like I like in the middle. I in hate middle. super sweet and I hate super dry. Okay, I gotcha. So, right. there you go. Alright, looks good to me, looks like you. Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, like, right. I'm old. So, <laughs> I told him, I was like, I'm glad to give you my ID. Well, <laughs> to be fair, man, you do not look the age I assume. So. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm a very bad judge of age. <laughs> yeah. So, I didn't know that right now. So, you don't like super sweet or super dry, you want to be in the middle. Yeah. So, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, do you want to be on camera trying it? Yes. Do you want to be on camera? Up to you. Let's see what she thinks. Oh, 
Matt, you you're in the view. Bit, try to get more of that flavor out. So. I you like you want it. To white sands? Yes, yes, yep. yes, yeah, please, absolutely. yes, please. So this is going to be white sands. This okay. is going to be the least dry, the sweet dries. It's made from Riesling grapes. Okay. Now this one, you're going to get notes of apples, pears, and honey. Now uh -huh. the apples and pears, you may or may not get one over the other. Okay. I've had a handful of people get both apples and pears, but the majority of people uh, have tended to get apples. Uh -huh. But some people have gotten the pears, so it's not really a 50-50 split, but it's really close. So cool. keep that in mind. Okay, so I'll try this one with that. Absolutely. And I have, I'm recoding it so that way Thank we're you. not mixing wine flavors or else that ruins the experience. So. Appreciate it. What did he do? He threw it away. Thank you. I know, right? Yeah. Can we take wine back on the plane? So, I think if you check your bag, maybe. Checking the bag. See, that's the thing because they usually don't allow anything over eight ounces. Oh, that's true. Usually. So, red, the least dry of the dries. It's going to be made from Sangiovese grapes. You're going to get notes of strawberries, cherries, violet, and oak. Now, with the violet and the oak, I will say some people will get violet over the oak. A lot more people get oak over the violet because violet is kind of a harder one to distinguish between the two. Yeah. I haven't met anyone who's able to descriptively tell me what violet tastes like. Right. I've heard floral. And I'm right. like, well, I don't know what floral right. means. Right. You don't go around you know eating I mean? flowers. So <laughs> violet is a little bit more hard to distinguish out of the two. Wasting more wine. I know. It's a shame. There we are. Thank you. Same thing. I like how you shoot it. She has served alcohol for over 10 <laughs> years. Oh, wow. She knows everything down to the detail of these wines. What foods they are mixed with. How they are fermented. Now that's when you the get... The chemistry it. behind the grapes. So she's probably a sommelier. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That and above. She yeah. knows hard liquors, beers. She's even... Uh, <laughs> We like to call her a geologist because she loves rocks. She knows the science behind her. It's Bailey from Pistachio Lab. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So if we're interested like in the curries. I love curry. paired really well with it. Mm. I bet we can order stuff. Yeah, I was just about to yeah, say absolutely. that. Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, right, I'm going to be I'm introducing you, what do you to think? something here in a bit. Matter of fact, must drink five or fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, gotta remember that. There we are. What do you think? Before this I try one's it. Much drier. Oh, really? I think I like the second one. Ah, uh, okay. I like dry, so let me try you it. Might really like this one. Yeah. Okay. And I have to remember to put my pinky out. So Lisa this is it. the one that I like the best. Yes, white the sand. White sand. Yes. Is this the appropriate pinky outage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> curl. Do you know why? No, but I, I like this. you know why. Uh, behind holding stem between the bowl? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. So you don't change the temperature of the wine? Ah, uh, no, I don't know. I want to so learn that, though. I'm sorry, are we in you guys' wines, way? Room temperature okay. wines, like like dry wines or warm wines for the most part, like you would this. hold it oh, by the yeah. bowl. Uh. If it's chilled, you hold it by the stem. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. They just think they're frozen grapes. A lot desperation. of people just kind of hold the wine and think that they know what they're doing. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest um. with you, 75% of the time, they don't. Ah, uh, okay. They, because they just see other people do it, but they don't know why. So room temperature? Yeah, so room temperature. And yes. Yeah. Chilled. Chilled. Yeah. Uh. On the stem. Okay. Alright, so give me something so I can go or, home. Or if they give you order really thing. old wine, it's called brandy. So I like the brandy uh, with good. your hand, this is your be hand around it. Yes, right yes. There. <laughs> All those wines you can find are going to be on my website. Yeah, may I have one too, code please? And get 20% off on yeah, your yeah, order. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You were great. Yeah, well, I really And I think the first best. one I tried pistachio. I think my husband would like that. So that'd be cool to get pistachio and white sand. Yeah, absolutely. So I can drink that with all my pistachio. She uh, wants these pants. So Let's look at these pants. I'm sorry. Am I blocking you guys? How are you doing? Hi. Is it too late to taste that? No. <laughs> ah, it didn't even work. You take this and you do this like this. Uh -huh. Remember back in the day when we was little, you uh -huh. used to actually have like little pearls or something in there, little plastic pearls. Uh -huh. and make a 
supposed to make a noise when you open it. Uh, uh, oh, it's a lot louder. Uh, yes. My she can get it to work all the time. I can't even get it. Show look like more than one scoop. That's not, oh no, it is one scoop on top of the bowl. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. <laughs> now let's see if I like it. And ice I'm, cream. Delicious. So good. Generally, when we travel, we're looking for blue waters and white sands. Or if you go to Dubai, take a take a beeline straight for the sand dunes. And I haven't been yet, but I'm just assuming based on what I saw. But I have to tell you, I've seen pictures of the Dubai sand dunes, and I've been to and seen pictures of white sands. And I'm sorry, Dubai's sand or sandy desert has nothing on this area of New Mexico. If you reporting to you live from a place you would never ever visit on your own. Let's go see white things. No water, just beautiful, beautiful white sand. <sighs> and that leads me to one of my favorite parts of the trip. While I was in New Mexico, you guys, I was chasing the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises that I could possibly capture to bring back to you guys. I'm super thankful for my coworkers who kind of pointed me in the direction of where I could find a beautiful view of a sunrise and sunset. One day they told me, hey, just drive straight up the street right here and stop when you see a missile. Well, honey. I saw a missile and the most amazingly beautiful sunrise I've ever seen in my life.
what is a sunrise without a sunset? They both must take place. And I captured the most beautiful sunset. One of my coworkers told me to look up a recycled Roadrunner statue. And wherever I find that statue, I would find the most beautiful, beautiful sunset in New Mexico. trip to New Mexico was absolutely amazing especially the part about bringing you guys along with me sharing this experience with you all just makes it even more enjoyable it makes me want to get out and go and do some fun things I get to check that one off of my 50 state list definitely happy I was able to go and visit and enjoy the beauty of New Mexico hopefully you guys make a plan to go at some point but if not at the very least you can come back and check out my vlog anytime you want to visit New Mexico through my eyes anyway thank you guys so so much for watching this video as I said before thank you so much to my subscribers for all of your support thank you for your views and don't forget to like this video if you want to see more videos from me and if you are not a subscriber and you're thinking about it go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time